The information war is on. It seems that nearly every day, someone finds a new way of giving us facts. Reports, printouts, analyses, forecasts, reviews, updates. A flood of materials designed to help us understand the changing world of business. But having a lot of information at our fingertips isn't always the best way of understanding what it means. In fact, what starts out as a lot of information often ends up as just a lot of numbers. That's where business graphics comes into the picture. Business graphics is a tool for giving meaning to numbers, for showing relationships and trends, for clarifying and emphasizing, and a way of communicating those meanings quickly, clearly, and attractively. Business graphics turns a lot of numbers into a lot of answers. More and more people are understanding the advantages of graphics. That's why Apple Business Graphics was developed. It gives you the power of computer graphics and the flexibility to use them where you need graphs the most. Financial forecasts, sales reports, scientific charting. Whether you're working with the raw numbers or making your final presentation. Apple Business Graphics is being used in over 6,000 offices today because you need graphs to help you understand data. Let's take a look at how the program works for someone who uses numbers every day. If a market researcher wants to know how nationwide product sales are doing, she can learn more from data that looks like this than from data that looks like this. In the back of my mind, I always knew that charts would help me, but it used to be so hard to get them. Our data processing department took weeks to make them, and I never had the time to learn their software for myself. But what I like so much about Apple Business Graphics is that I can graph my own data in about two minutes. It's that easy. So it gives me the time and the flexibility I need to really work with the data, experiment, try to find trends and curves that aren't immediately noticeable from the numbers themselves. For instance, I've got some tables here from the data processing department on product sales. Now, I graph that data as a time series, and I clearly see that something went wrong during these months here. Now, here's the same data broken down product by product. And I see all of them took a pretty healthy dip during those same months. So I can't really blame it on one particular product. But when I graph the numbers by region, I see that the north and the east actually went up during those months. But that the Midwest really bottomed out. Now, that kind of information is extremely useful to me. Most of these graphs I wouldn't make into slides or anything like that. They're purely for my information. But this last one, about the Midwest, well, I think someone in management would be very interested in looking at that one. Apple Business Graphics is a program designed to give you just that sort of versatility. You can take the data you always work with, VisiCalc files or other external database files, and analyze it in graphs without having to re-enter the data. We realized that many of the things that we originally bought the computer for, like being able to use VisiCalc and getting information from the Dow Jones News Service, were all numbers programs. We do want to get our hands on a lot of numerical information. But it wasn't until we got Apple Business Graphics that we really made full use of what those numbers were trying to tell us. I can do some pretty complicated mathematical graphing, like smooth moving averages and curve fitting, things I could never really do with VisiCalc. Now I'm so used to graphing our VisiCalc models that I've created standardized formats for all the graphs I use most often. Now, every month, I can automatically load in the data and see it in the format I created, all with one command. My boss really appreciates that. When he compares monthly sales, the titles and the axes are the same. The graphs look familiar. That makes them easier to explain and to understand. You know, I'm concerned about this downward trend in the Midwestern region. I should probably show this to the board this afternoon. How about some overheads of these bar charts, okay? Okay, no problem. Such short notice used to infuriate me. We had to go to an outside production service for overheads. But now I take the same Apple Business Graphics data I used before and draw really high quality graphs on our plotter. I can print the same data on a letter quality printer if I'm issuing a report. 
Or if I want to take my work home, I can use a little silent type. But no matter how we print them, I'm still surprised at how easy it has become to use graphs in our office. As you can see, the problem is in the sales in the Midwest region, which have dropped severely. Now, unfortunately, this is... It's funny, we've even gotten other departments to start using graphics. Our salespeople are using a program called Screen Director to make a sort of electronic slideshow with a computer. But the slides are actually the graphs they made with Apple Business Graphics, and the projector is the Apple Monitor. We can even use the same data and graphs with another program to get actual 35 millimeter slides and overhead transparencies right over the phone line from the Apple. That way the executives can use Apple Business Graphics to make the points they want to make.